Today we are talking about the Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus magnaventris was discovered in western North America in 1906 and found by Barnum Brown. Ankylosaurus lived during the Cretaceous period, around 68 to 66 million years ago. The Ankylosaurus could very well be the largest Ankylosaurid, due to it growing potentially between 20 and 26 feet in length and being estimated to weigh between 5.3 and 8.8 .8 tons. The Ankylosaurus is part of the Ankylosauria family group. Members of this group include Nordosaurus, Polocanthus, Eophocephalus, and others. The Ankylosauria family group is divided into two different groups. Those are named Nodosauridae and Ankylosauridae. All these animals that are a part of these groups are classified as herbivorous creatures, also known as plant eaters. Ankylosaurus was built like a tank, literally. It was a quadrupedal dinosaur with some very noticeable features. One of the main and most well-known features of the Ankylosaurus is the club located at the end of the tail. The odd-looking tail club is made up of two large osteoderms, for when the tail is swung, it is strong enough to break and crush bone. Another characteristic of the Ankylosaurus is that it had an armored body covered with more yet smaller osteoderms, as well as having these same osteoderms on the head of the animal. Ankylosaurus isn't the best candidate when it comes to speed and running, due to the animal being incredibly heavy. However, when it has an unbreakable armored body as well as a bone-breaking tail club, there isn't much need for speed when you really think about it. There is a con, however, with this tank of an animal, and that is the underside not being protected. So if the Ankylosaurus is flipped onto its back, it is game over, but that's if the predator can get near the Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus lived in what is now Western North America, which means that they lived beside dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, and Edmontosaurus, as well as many other dinosaurs. The environment that the Ankylosaurus liked was warm and humid, almost near a tropical climate, living in places that were rich in vegetation. Ankylosaurus had a skull that could measure up to 64.5 centimeters in length, as well as a brain about the size of a walnut. It had a beak-like mouth, perfect for eating tough leaves and pulpy fruits. Something interesting about the animal is that it had a very strong sense of smell. The Ankylosaurus used its keen sense of smell for a few things, first of which would be to seek out plants, as well as being able to avoid nearby predators. But the most interesting thing about their nose was that the animal's nasal passages potentially helped keep the dinosaur's brain cool. Okay, um, that was today's Reviewing Dinosaurs episode, um, do you like the glasses? Cause I like the glasses, it makes me feel distinguished, like I am smart, I'm smart man. Smart. Um, yeah, that, that was this Reviewing Dinosaurs episode, uh, if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like on the video as well as subscribing to the channel, um, also, while you're subscribed to, to the channel, make sure to turn on the post notifications bell so you get notified whenever I make another Reviewing Dinosaurs episode, or make any other type of content. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to post, like, barely anything. Like, after my Megalodon, I said, oh yeah, um, I'm gonna try and not be lazy and record a bit more videos because I don't have school. Guess what? Became lazy, so I didn't post much. Actually, I didn't post anything apart from the Megalodon video. Um, but that's okay. I'm posting now. So. Yeah. Uh, anything else to touch up on? And we're at 52 subscribers. Which I never thought I'd like halfway to 100, which is insane. So, thank you for all the people subscribing. I have no idea what that was, but um, thank you for everybody who has subscribed, like, 
thank you, because I never thought I'd reach halfway to 100 so soon. It's actually been like a year. No, uh, no, not a year, just like a couple of months. Actually, yeah. See, the glasses make me look smart, but uh, I'm not actually that smart, am I? Or am I? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just stalling at this point. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, um, which I hope you do, and I hope I see you guys on the next video. God, I'm horrible at doing outros. Hope to see you in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Goodbye.